so I'm sharing with you um, uh, what I find through the scriptures and by the spirit uh, 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 what it is to be a real person, a, 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 a completed person. And I wouldn't share if it wasn't what I'm, by the grace of God, uh, uh, know myself. Um, and knowing is inside you. Because we are, we are, we're, uh, we're spirits. Jesus said God's a spirit. Spirit's the person, therefore the person in the is a spirit. A spirit a knower and a lover and a chooser. That's all we are, and he fathered our spirits. He created our souls and bodies. Our souls are a means of expressing ourselves, and our bodies express ourselves. We are spirit. He's spirit. We're spirit. That's why you. That's why you have you like with him, like father, like son. Things aren't spirits. We are spirit and knower. Paul said, "What man knows the things of man?" Said the spirit of man is in So knower, you know as you. I know. I know. I know. That's you. You operate because you know. You're comfortable in this room because you're in the room. You live by knowing, and you live by desiring. Uh, love all, all life, of course, the team is with desire from the atomic power upwards. Everything is a, a mass of, of desire, which is love. It depends what way, the way love goes. We want to, sati we want to satisfy or satisfy others, love. So a, a person compiled of knowing and loving and then choosing. Choosing is what we nowadays, nowadays call faith, or the Bible calls faith, putting yourself in something. Faith isn't theorizing about something, it's committing yourself to something. Now that's how you came here tonight, or this afternoon. You knew you could come. You desired to come. You may be a little regretful a little later on, but at least you started desiring to come. So you know you could come. You could have, I'll come. That's a person. And your car or your feet only brought the I come here. The I come is you. The I am is you. Now, it's, it's expressed through your emotions. That's your soul. Expressed through your reason, your rational faculty. That's your soul. Expressed through your body. But you are the knower, the desirer, and the chooser, which puts which, which you in something, which is the faith. That's all you are. That's all God is. That's all man is. And that's how we operate. That's, and, uh, and therefore, to be a person is to know who I am. And then function as who I am. Now, of course, what the Bible teaches us, uh, a, a, a real I am is a, a union of the I am and my I am. Oh. It's a union. The Bible says, he, as he's joined to the Lord, is one spirit. One, not two. That's in 1, 1 Corinthians 6, 17. Uh, so your spirit, get spirit, isn't a kind of spook, it's a person. Because he's a spirit. Jesus said God is spirit. So the person in the universe, all this is product of the person, isn't it? It must, in the beginning, he, it's all come out from him. It's manifestations of him in variety of forms. You can't see him in a thing. You can see a form of him in a thing. Everything is marvelous. You can see him in a person. That's why he has persons. He can reproduce himself in persons, because he's a person. So we're spirits as he is. Everything expresses him manifest his glory and, and you can see him i see through everything and see his wonder glory beauty everything but that's not he <laughs> but persons is a form of him and the bible says he we humans sinners saved by grace joined the lord a one spirit so a real person is a person who's a person he's really god as a person and you know he isn't really he he's really the living god uh, and he's expressing the living God. He's the real person in him, he's the living God, and he's, he's expressing the living God. That's, that's big talk. That's what the Bible says. So I'm talking about uh, uh, how to find out uh, who we are. I find out who we are through the book, but the book must be interpreted by the Spirit. The book's no good outside you. It's got to come inside you. Oh, that's what I know. It's got to come out. That's why Jesus said, the words I speak unto you, they're spirit, spirits inside you. So they dissolve from being the book and become you. Oh, that's it, that's I. Now, I, I take it, I'm speaking to those who've begun that relationship. I can't say to the audience this size, but I must take it, you're born again. That's a, that, 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 that's a fundamental matter. And if you're born again, it means you knew you were wrong. That was a very great thing. You are not a right person, you are a wrong person. And the Spirit of God operated on you through the law and through the gospel until you say, I'm a wrong person. So wrong, I'm under a curse, I'm under condemnation, I'm going to hell, I'm lost. And you know, that, that made you mostly dissatisfied with yourself. And was there a way out? 
could you, could you, uh, could you be back to God? Could you get right with God? Could you go to heaven instead of hell? Could you be forgiven? Uh, uh, could you have eternal life? And so on, you became dissatisfied with yourself. Uh, and you found outside you, in a book, certain things were said. You can't live by an outside book. It's got to come inside you. And the outside book told you about God loved like this, and he loved so much his own person, his own son. He came and, and, and himself took upon what we, uh, him, what you come to us, took our sins on him, went to death, went to hell on our behalf, where we should go, and rose, from the, rose again to, 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 to wipe out that condemnation and that guilt and that wrath and that destiny in hell. That's outside you. But because you've become dissatisfied enough, if you've been sort of born again, you've been a dissatisfied person before you're a satisfied person. Dissatisfied with the old life where you tried to be satisfied. And you're dissatisfied. Could I be satisfied? I want peace. I want forgiveness. I want to get rid of those wrong things in my life. I want power. I want uh, uh, God. I want heaven. I want hope and so on. You want, I want. You can't live by wanting. You live by having. I'm not a, I'm not a wanter. I'm a haver. I'm an iser. Life isn't getting. It's a being. That's the secret. It isn't a getting. It's a being. When you're a getter, you haven't got there yet. When you're a beer, you have got there. A beer, but an isa. Now, you, you were a wanter then. But I hope you're not on that level, not a, a wanter now. But what happened was this, because you're a free person. Now, this is a great thing. God showed me God's free. He only re-expresses himself by freedom, you see. Be persons that re-express God. People to see the living God uh, through persons. So, uh, but, uh, uh, therefore, you must be free, because a person's free. Um, and so in our feeling, we make our choices. And therefore, if you're born again, there came a moment when, knowing first, by the, the witness of God, your, your disillusioned condition, not condition, hearing about this, and you can't think about what you hear, it's got to be inside you, hearing about it, and being attracted by it, God loved like that, and it says Jesus died like that, and it says he rose again, and is alive now, and that all this past is wiped out, and you mean the the family of God, and have eternal life, and God becomes your father, and Jesus should say, you hear that, now you're a free person, you chose. Choose, choose means, you said, all right, Lord, I, I, what it means, I'll take that as fact. It's the obedience of faith. See, obedience isn't going lot and doing a lot of things. Obedience isn't praying more, reading more, it's, it's, obedience, it's believing more. The, the Bible word, is, it's a word uh, Paul used in the first chapter of Romans, and the last chapter of Romans, that's his great letter. First chapter, he says, unto the obedience of faith. The last uh, the chapter, last verse, almost, says the obedience of faith. What? Be, uh, obey, obey, what's faith? Believe what God says. Believe, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Believe what God says. How do you believe? All right, you're an inside person. That believing is your will. All right, I'll do it. You don't do anything, but inside say, okay, I'll believe that. I know what it means, but he says that he died, that he's arisen, he, he's alive, I, I, I can't see him, but I, I take a bigger leap, I'm going to believe him, I believe he did die, did rise, I'm going to accept him and believe, and, and, and he becomes my saviour, and I believe him, my sins are just be washed out, and I shall find I'm a, I'm a child of God, in the family of God, and so on. Uh, and if you're born again, you did that. Uh, and uh, 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 then you had the, 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 the first experience uh, of, the, of the true product of faith, See, uh, everything's done by faith, because faith is choice. But on earth, you, you fulfill your own choices. The Bible word on faith is, faith, uh, that, uh, 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 faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's Hebrews 11 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. I think hope for isn't substantial to you. It's, it's insubstantial. Where is it? I hope for it. I hope for it. Faith makes it fact to you. Faith makes a, a, a hope for thing a fact to you. Faith gives substance. Uh, now you always do that. Uh, um, I couldn't prove this chair would hold me till I put faith. I had to commit myself to it. Looking at it, didn't move, uh, uh, prove it to me. I, I, I said, "What's happened? It holds me." Faith comes. Back. I'm not holding up the chair. It's holding up me. So you put your faith in something. It comes back and says it's real to 